What, what's good homies and welcome back to another episode of our West Tigers rebuild series. Before we jump into today's game, I do want to do a subscriber 17 so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys our roster. I wanted to do more of these this season but I wasn't expecting it to be this difficult so we'll do at least one game with a squad chosen by one of you guys. This of course is just our roster. If you want to see feeder club rosters just let me know in the comment section down below. So yeah if you're interested just pause the video and uh come up with a lineup and I'll randomly choose one of your guys suggestions. Alright as for today's lineup there has been a few changes. Like I said in the last video I moved the uh, I moved Isan Masters to the left center, moved Nangama to the right and pushed Tui Lolo here to the wing. I've also decided to start Jamal Lidris in the second row and I've moved Chris Lawrence to the bench. Alright so we're in round 11 here, back at Campbelltown Stadium, our opponent the Sydney Roosters and just take a look at their back 5 here, we're playing against two former Tigers, one obviously being James Tedesco and on the wing they acquired Jordan Rankin. They also have another new signing in Mantelato on the other wing. As for their current progress, they're sitting at 13th, 8 points, and they're coming off back-to-back -back wins. Alright, so we're going to start off with the Roosters in attack. As Liu goes on a nice little run here, gets it away to Pierce, Pierce gets smashed in the tackle. They look for a quick scoop from dummy half, and we're going to get caught offside. Back on the first tackle. As they get to the blind side through Liu, gets the pass away back on the inside, linking up with Pierce once again. On the second, as they go to Cordner, throws oh, the white ball out to Rankin, beats his opposite, and he's going to score the first points of the game. That was a pretty good pass by Cordner to get it out to Rankin, and he did well to get around Lolo Hale, as he looks to convert his own try. 10 in from the touchline, and it's a beautiful kick as he swings it back inside, and they're going to go up by 6 points, 23 minutes into the game. Alright, so we're back in attack, we get an attacking scrum. As we get it out to Reynolds, who gets around one, and we definitely don't have the juice to go all the way as we get pulled down 35 out from their line. On the first, we go short to Packer, one off the ruck, straight through the gap, and it's gonna get wrapped up by Tedesco. Fourth tackle inside their 10. As we send it to Brooks on the left side, puts it on the toe for Idris, and it looks like Idris gets the ball down here. Sending it up to the bunker just to review the grounding. And as you can see, I wasn't too sure during the review, but as you'll see, we do get the green lights, and we'll just take another look here on the replay. It didn't look like we grounded it on the bunkers replay, but you'll see here, as we slow it down, a perfectly weighted kick, and he does in fact get the grounding. Beautiful kick and a great finish by Jamal Idris. As we convert the easy two here with Lolo here to tie the game up, and we'll lock that 6 apiece, 30 minutes into the game. Alright, we're well back in attack as we try and get a kick away. We kick it straight into Jordan Rankin who regathers it, steps around Aloyai and he's going to race away for a second try of the game. Off the back of a terrible kick effort. Watching it back though, I guess we were too late with the release. As he steps around 3 defenders here, 3 defenders, that whole right edge. They all get sucked into the animation. We try and dive with Tupo, but we're grasping at thin air as the X Tiger scores his double. Back with Rankin to take the conversion, to push them out to a 6 point lead. And he's going to slot it once again, dragging it from right to left. Alright, so we're back in possession here, inside the final 10 of the half, as it just makes a little break. He's been super effective since starting him. Back on the second, we have a nice shape to the left. As we go to Brooks, links up with Tupo, and it's well read by the defense as he gets pulled down just outside their 40. On the third, we go to Taylor, who makes the break, bumps off one, and he's pulled down by Tedesco at the back. We're around 21 meters out. On the fourth, as we go to Packer, sends it back inside to McCurick. And we're gonna lose the ball. We weren't building towards something on that set, but it all comes to an abrupt end after a solid hit by one of their big boys. Alright, so looking at the halftime stats, it's been a terrible half of footy for us. Five errors, three penalties conceded, and 15 missed tackles. I find myself trying to pull off a set play, and most of the time when you do play like that, when you do play a little too fancy, 
you end up going side to side with no real go forward. It's a terrible way to try and play this game. Obviously I'm not thinking like this while I'm playing live but I guess it is something to work on. It's just a little bad habit of mine when playing this game as we barely stop Mentalado. A little scoop from W half by friend as he fends off one and he turns us inside out at the back and it's going to be Jake friend who goes all the way for the Roosters third try of the game. I thought for sure that I had him covered at the back heel of Tupo. As you can see here, I'm backtracking, trying to figure out where he's going to go. He cuts in, I sprint in, and then he beats us on the outside. Honestly, I wasn't really that mad getting beat by the AI like that. I was just more caught off guard than anything, because usually on the old game, they just run in straight lines, but it's good to see the AI somewhat mixing it up, I guess. As we rush up off the line of Grant, put a big hit on Nappa, and they're going to lose the ball backwards as we regather. Some would say that was a tackle without the ball, but we're going to attack the short side here through Idris as we make it just on their 10. Second tackle for us. As we send it to Packer, flat footed, and he's going to get pushed backwards in the tackle, still on the 10. Third tackle for us. We get to the right to Reynolds, and he gets it out to Aloyai. And he's going to get driven back for a tiny loss. On the fourth, struggling to put anything together. Pekka running onto it, gets it to Reynolds. Reynolds to Brooks, links up with Idris. And Idris is going to power his way over the line. As they send it up to check the grounding. I'm pretty sure we do get the grounding here. As it goes up as a no try. And as you can see, we do get the grounding. We're going to get the green lights. That's Jamal Idris' second try of the game. Just a great display of strength there. Carrying one defender over the line with him. As we can run it off Lolo here. And we're going to get within 6 points. Alright, back in attack here. Looking to mount up a comeback. As Packer just slices through the line. He's going to get tackled. 25 out. First tackle. We go wide to Masters. He tries to float one out. <laughs> we get punished for trying to spread the ball early. As Mantelado gets tackled. 5 out from our line. First tackle for the Roosters. As they go to Orbison, and he's going to get pulled down, just meters away from the try line. Second tackle, they go for a scoot, and we're going to get pinged for being offside. Not bad of a result, as they go for the penalty goal here, and Rankin's going to slot it down the middle. Gets them out to an 8 point lead. Alright, back in attack, we're going to try and kick early on the third. Looking for a 40-20 of course. As we get it out to Reynolds, the kick does look good, but the wind's going to blow it back in. And we don't get the bounce. It's a cruel bounce as Tedesco gets the return. Steps around three defenders. And he's going to get pulled down. 45 out. Back on the last for the Roosters. As they go to Pierce. Puts up a bomb. Tupo under it. Makes the catch. And he's going to get wrapped up. Five out. First tackle here. As we send it to Grant. Who gets absolutely flattened on the first. Loses the ball forward. And we're just laying all over fire here. Purposely giving the penalty away, just hoping that they would take the kick, but they don't. As they take the tap here, shifting it to George Fai. A nice shot by Grant, returning serve. As Lukiri takes it up to the line this time. And he's going to get pulled down 5 meters out. Once again, we give the penalty away in hopes of them taking the goal, but... But the Roosters are pretty adamant on getting another try, as they send it out to Nuffa, who bumps off one. And he's going to score under the posts. I mean, I kind of felt the try was coming if, uh, if they didn't take the goal. As you all know, it can be a nightmare at times trying to defend your line. As Rankin converts from right in front. And gets them out to a 14 point lead. Inside the final 10 of the game. The game is well and truly over here. As they go out the back to fire. He sends it to Wairia Hargreaves. Bumps off one. And he passes an interception. So just looking for some consolation points here. As we go to Brooks, try and find the line on the first. Looking for the 40-20 and we overcook it. Nothing going our way here. As they get the attacking scrum. 30 out from our line. Tedesco 1 out from the scrum. Links up with Ferguson. As he gets around Nangama. And he's going to get pulled down. 15 meters out from the line. First tackle for the Roosters. As they go out the back to Pierce, he goes out to Wairia Hargreaves, throws an offload back in field, 
and it's gonna be George Fai here fending off McQueen and he's gonna score under the posts for the final try of the game. Racket to add the extras. You can probably do this blindfolded as he converts the two points full time here at Campbelltown Stadium. We fall to the Roosters 32 points to 12. That just might have been our worst game of the series so far. The only shining light in that match was probably Jamal Idris. Other than that, we played like butt cheeks, man. As we take a look at the stats and everything, don't forget to uh, take a look at the roster at the beginning of the video and let me know your preferred 17 man team. I will randomly choose one of your guys lineups. And yeah, that concludes this episode. As always, drop that like button for more Rugby League Life 4 content. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you, 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 you. later. Can't nobody get up in my car today. Backseat feeling like a charter plane. Bumping so the shot.